What's up guys, Mark Wienerbach coming at you from uh, Central Park, New York. This will be sort of the documentary leading up to my photo shoot on Tuesday, today being Saturday. People ask me like, hey Mike, what do you change? Are you eating anything special? Are we doing anything with water or whatever? And the answer is no. Um, it's, yeah, I know, I just killed Bambi and Santa Claus. But basically what it is, like you're either in shape like weeks before the shoot or the show or you're not and then nothing you that you will do the last 100 hours will change anything. So it's really more a matter of not cleaning stuff up the last couple of days before they do anything like, be it like diuretics or salt retreats or whatever the case may be. So just simply stay the course, like whatever made you look good those 10, 12, 15, 20 weeks beforehand probably worked well. So why, why would you, you know, now change anything? That just makes sense. Uh, Food-wise, I'm pretty much relying on ground beef and rice. It's easy to carry around. It has a lot of uh, creatine, it has a lot of zinc. It feels it gets me full. And, um, you know, the only thing I'm trying to do is having Saturday, Sunday, Monday sort of offish from work is to get rid of these circles and look like a human. And I got a haircut and I shall shave. But other than that, I really don't change anything. Oh, that was my daughter kicking the camera. Thank you very much. But I just caught it and that will be all. And we're back. So now we're 48 hours away from the shoot, a little bit less actually. And uh, one question I always get is actually two, but they kind of go hand in hand is, hey Mike, what do you do about carbs and water before a show? And the answer is nothing. Um, I touched upon this in another video, but I shall do it again. So the bottom line is that by making any type of drastic changes close to an event, you have a pretty high chance of looking worse than you would otherwise, right? So there's no magic in the last 48 hours, but there's a high potential of messing things up. So I don't carb deplete or carb load per se, because it's the risk of not doing it right is much higher than the potential benefit. And doing a carb depletion sets you up for looking worse a couple of days. You don't know where you are and how much you need to carb up and then people don't carb up enough or too late and so on and so forth. And anyways, then they end up ruining 20 weeks of dieting. Uh, also, just because of my metabolism or like, maybe I'm just too high strung or nervous, I go through glycogen very, very quickly on a day-to-day -day basis. So if I don't constantly eat carbohydrates, I flatten out, you know, and then I just look awful. So during the shoot, and we go over this more in detail tomorrow, I constantly have some, like I will make some, you know, brownies and of course having my, my trusted gummy bears just to stay full. Um, so I, I would, I'm not somebody who goes zero carbs for a couple of days and then carving up and hoping for some magical changes. That's simply not how things work. Uh, same with water. I mean, playing with water is just inherently stupid. That's plain and simple. So your muscles, they consist out of water, glycogen, creatine. So pulling any of those is just a bad idea. Um, basically, you don't know where the water comes from, either it comes from the, under the skin or from, you know, within the muscle cell. You don't control this and you're going to end up looking worse than before because you're going to lose an equal amount of water from under the skin as well from within the muscle cell. So you're just going to be a smaller version of yourself. So the bottom line is you're either lean or you're not, you know. The other thing is like due, due to my condition, I'm, I have to take uh, lithium, which is a salt essentially, and that dehydrates you anyways as is. So it leaves a metallic taste in the mouth and then can be like, nausea. So, so if, if I don't drink, then that, that gets much worse. But regardless, nobody should ever mess with water. Um, I don't know when this will die out in the bodybuilding world. I'm doing my best uh, to make it go away. It's just an inherently bad idea to mess with your water. Um, you know, people have died from it uh, because of the uh, sodium potassium imbalance. And you're not looking any better. You know, like the bottom is this, the people that do well in shows or look good in photos, whatever, they looked good 10, 14 days beforehand. So they didn't do anything magical um, the last hours or so. Like they woke up looking like Baloo the Bear and then they're like, oh, look at me, I'm Mr. Universe. So there is no short term fix. It's, it's the same as, you know, getting your PhD or whatever, you just have to put the time in. So. Tomorrow we'll go over um, my training leading up to something like that, and then also what I would actually eat on a on a day of of such of an event. And so I'm going through the meals. 
Um, so, but to reiterate, do not touch carbs and water. If, you, if you're not lean by now, it's not going to happen. So there's nothing worse than cramming for the test. So people that do, you know, insane amounts of cardio the day or the two days before a show or a shoot, they simply don't look right because their cortisol levels are too high and the muscles look mushy and they, 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 they pull too much water. So if it's not done by now, you missed the boat. Okay, see you guys tomorrow. Mike out. So here we are. We're 24 hours away from the big one, the photo shoot. And since I'm in my kitchen, you can imagine what I'm going to do. We shall talk about food. So people ask me, like, what do you eat the day of a shoot? And, well, let's go through it. So my first two meals, which would be, so we're taking photos at 1 o'clock. So at, let's say, 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. ish, I would have two servings of this, which is essentially pork and bulgur. It could be steak and potatoes, anything that keeps you full, quote unquote, real food. And then from there on, every hour or so, I shall eat some brownies. So I'm having those. Okay. Now, how did I make them? I used with my daughter a regular brownie mix. Then we added some protein powder, uh, put in some muslag, which is basically egg whites. We used a uh, cake batter instead of oil. We used almond butter and then the secret ingredient, big secret, is German chocolate. Okay, why? Well, when you are going for an event, you want to have something that has a lot of energy but does not bloat you or fill you up a lot. You, you don't want to have a big stomach. So I, for one, like I said yesterday, I run through glycogen very quickly. So. I would have to eat insane amounts of rice or potatoes, which you didn't, don't have the time or you're too nervous or whatever. So this, I can simply kind of nibble on every hour and it will keep the muscles full. Additionally, for a quote unquote quick fix, I have Haribo, Star Mix, only the best coming beers. And then to get some sodium in, I'll be eating a little bit of potato chips, like a handful. So the sodium, needless to say, keeps the muscles also full and crisp. Plus, at some point, you just can't eat any more sweet stuff. Um, to drink, I'll have Gatorades along the way. Always stay hydrated. We, just, we talked about this yesterday. I never, ever cut water. It's just a dumb idea. It's dangerous. And it will not make your physique any better. So, by the time a shoot or show is done, I've basically eaten so much junk that I cannot wait to go back on a normal diet. So when people say like, oh, my show is over and I'm going to eat this. I mean, we talked about this in reverse dieting, how this is a bad eating, it's going to get you fat. Like for me, quite frankly, whenever I come off stage or like I'm done with the pictures, I'm like, okay, this was fun, but somebody please give me like, you know, steak and potato or chicken and rice. Um, now, like I said, those brownies, they look mighty good and they will be a lot of fun tomorrow. But then after a while, you know, that's it. So please note, I did not say those brownies are healthy. They're just healthier. They're a little bit more attuned to bodybuilding. And they're simply an easy way for me to get some decent fats, a good amount of sugar and some protein in while I stay full for the shoot. So the main objective is not to eat, shall we say, weight loss food. The main objective is just to keep the muscles full without having a distended stomach. And then we'll see what we do tomorrow. My God. Hey, Sakalu. Hello. Mike out.